Hey everybody, it's Jay Henry. Um, in this video, I am going to set up a CI CD pipeline using uh, Terraform with Circle CI to deploy the service that we created in our last video. In the last video, I had said that in this video, I was probably going to create a UI for the um, computer vision service that we created, but in thinking about it, I realized that creating the UI is, is going to be a series unto itself. I'm planning on uh, using uh, React Redux to create it, and there are several very involved steps there, and it might take uh, more than one video to do that. So what I wanted to do was um, create a series where we actually take that service, um, create a CI/CD pipeline to deploy it to AWS using Terraform, and then we will have you know a static endpoint using DNS that we can use to access that service while we're building out the UI. Um, so, and, and I think this is a necessary step anyway. We're gonna you know need a CI/CD pipeline at some point anyway. Might as well set it up now. So what I'm gonna do is go to GitHub, um, and I'm gonna. Um, create a new repository. So I have in the past played around with um, adding my infrastructure code to the source code repository so that they're all in one place and, and it has context. But what I've found is that when I do that, um, it makes builds very slow. Infrastructure, infrastructure good. And I, I'd rather separate out the concerns of infrastructure and code. So um, this is going to be built using Terraform, which is a good, um, you know, infrastructure as code tool. It allows you to create um, basically YAML files, I guess, sort of, that um, uh, are very declarative in nature. And then it'll connect to your provider and um, create your infrastructure for you and manage it. So we'll create that, and then we're going to clone it locally. Um, so let me get a terminal open here. Uh, let's see, let's see what we have in here. So this is our code from last time. So we'll get clone. Okay, and then code infrastructure. Good. And there, sh there should just be basically the README and the license. Okay, good. So what we're going to do now is I will open up Visual Studio, and um, we've got our previous project open here. Let's open up our new project. And what we're going to want to do here is uh, Circle CI um, isn't you know a CI CD pipeline as a service type of SaaS product. Um, and it's going to expect a particular layout for our uh, directories and our files so that it knows what to do. So we're going to create a directory called circleci, dot circleci. The dot is important. And we're going to create for now a single YAML file in there, config.yml. And this is where um, circleci is going to look for um, the commands it needs to run. And so do a little bit of initial setup here. I think for now the um, setup is going to be very basic. We're going to have a build step and a deploy step and then we're going to define a workflow for those steps. Uh, normally in a CI CD pipeline you would have you know unit testing and then integration testing, uh, maybe scalability testing, maybe penetration testing, maybe end-to-end -end testing with other systems before you deploy into production. But to get this set up, we're just going to set up a very simple workflow, and then we'll kind of in it, uh, we'll iterate on it as we go along. Um, so we're going to tell it what jobs we want it to run. Um, and the first job is going to be build, where we're going to actually use Docker to containerize our code. Um, and then after build, we will have deploy. Um, and deploy will be parameterized because it will have slightly different arguments depending on whether we're deploying to a dev environment, a stage environment, or a prod environment, but we'll get into that later. Um, so under each of these, these are right now going to be identical, uh, we're going to tell it what the base image 
we want it to use is. Um, and since this is a Python project, um, I think we're going to use uh, Circle CI Python latest. Um, and then the steps we're going to execute. And for this one, we're going to run a single step, which we're just going to echo out what we're doing. And so we'll say echo build, and that's it. And actually, I can, I can actually cheat a little bit here and copy this and put that here. And I actually think that that is enough to get our build running. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this up, hook this up to Circle CI, ensure that we don't have any like formatting errors in here because YAML is very specific. Um, and if it works, then we'll come back in and, and, and define our workflow. So let's do... Okay, we need to add that. And then, again, we'll, we should see a new file. We will. I am adding circle CI config to enable um, CI CD pipeline. And again, I don't know if you watched the earlier video, which talks kind of about um, setting up a Git repository, but whenever I make a commit message, I always try to add the what I'm doing and the why I'm doing it. Um, it's really easy to see what you've done, but maybe six months down the road, you don't remember why you did it. Um, in this case, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I like to be in the habit of doing both at the same time. All right, now we'll push this up. Origin master. All right. So now I'm going to go in and go to circleci.com. I have previously um, connected this to my GitHub account. And so I'm going to go to, and I've previously built some stuff here. I'm going to previous, I'm going to go to projects. I'm going to go to this project and I'm going to go to follow project. And then if I go back to workflows or jobs, I probably need to re-trigger this. Um, so let's make a small change. And let's say echo, and this actually should be deploy anyway. And we will recommit that. And updating echo message to trigger build. Uh, get push origin master and hopefully that will have triggered our build and it looks like it did and so we've got a, a step here that's running which is build and it's downloading the Python image so um, circle CI is great about giving you output and giving you a lot of tools and oh perfect so we spun up the environment which was good prepared the ENV vars and uh, then we actually did the build which should have just echoed build. Perfect. So what we want to do now that we know we have a valid format is let's set up a workflow that tells us that what we want to do is we actually want to first build the project and then if the project builds successfully then we want to deploy the project. All right, so we're going to set up the workflow here um, to tell CircleCI that when we check in uh, our code that we want first the build stage to happen and then the deploy stage to happen. So we've got workflows version 2. We'll say stage workflow. Um, at some point we'll add a development workflow and a production workflow, but for now let's just get the uh, first one done and then we will clone off of that. So we're going to say the first thing you want to do is we want a build job, which is this one right here, and we're going to actually filter um, <coughs> when that gets executed. So we're going to filter on the branch and we're going to say that we only want this to run off of master. Um, and so when we set up the development branch, it'll run on everything except for master and production and 
the production branch obviously will just run on uh, production but we're going to set this one up to run just on master um, and then we're going to set up the deploy stage and the deploy stage is going to be um, almost identical um, the only difference is that so it's still going to be filtered by um, the master branch only master but the difference is that in addition to a filter we're going to tell it that it has a requirement um, and what that requirement is is that the build step has executed successfully um, so what's going to happen here is it's going to look at this workflow it's first going to execute this build and if this is successful it'll run the deploy stage if this fails for any reason it'll stop the build and, and give us a message um, so I think let's get this committed up and um, see if this triggers Circle CI in the way that we expect it to. So infrastructure. Let's do get status. Uh, we've got to change to our config.yml. So we'll get am adding workflow section to config.yml in order to trigger sequential CI CD workflow. It's kind of a long description, but I think, uh, or kind of a long commit message, but I think it'll do. And then git push origin master. And after that's successful, so now we'll flip over to circle CI and see what happened there. Be right back. Okay, so here we are in uh, Circle CI, and on the master branch we've got our commit, um, and you can see we've got our two stages here. So the build stage will create its environment. Right now, all we've told it to do is echo out what it's going to do in this step, um, and then the next step is deployed because the previous one was successful. Same thing; it just tells us what it's going to do. Um, in the next video, I think I will actually add all of the Terraform code that we're going to need to spin up the environment inside of AWS, including um, a, a load balancer, security groups, a VPC, internet gateway, um, the ECS cluster, the ECR um, repository, um, and then the task definition. And so in the next video, we'll actually use this CI CD build to create infrastructure in AWS, and that'll be where we're going to deploy the computer vision service that we created. Um, if anything in this video has been helpful, uh, please like and subscribe below. If I did anything wrong in this video or you think there's a better way that it could be done, uh, please leave that in the comments um, so that I can learn. And um, otherwise, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.